Okay, I'm back, and uh, I'm going to take out a couple of wrinkles on this uh, elevator. Uh, this gun is the Hangar 9 heat gun. It's got a low and a high setting. I usually use the high setting. And uh, you never leave it in one place very long. You keep it moving. Watching the wrinkles disappear. Good. Because that gets pretty hot, I put a um, it's a uh, glass uh, cutting board from I stole from the kitchen. I've uh, been using it for years, and um, so once that's good, let me get a bit more myself more room here. Once that's good, you can still go over this with the iron to make sure you didn't raise it up any and everything is staying down. Okay, so now you can see uh, this side is looking pretty good. Um, here we go. So that looks pretty good. This is all very good. Now you can still see some wrinkles on this side. I haven't done this side yet. So that's going to be a combination of, of the heat gun to get these really minor wrinkles out and then press it back down again. But this this bubble along here is uh, uh, all gone. Okay, so um, I'll keep working on all the parts. Every airplane is going to be different, so I'm not going to show you the entire airplane. I want to make sure you get the technique down. When you're working on curved parts, you just have to take it slow. You work in the direction of the grain. You also work to wherever it is folded and sealed. So work toward that. Um, so I'll probably take the next uh, hour or two to uh, uh, wrinkle, get out all these wrinkles and bubbles. Okay, one other tip that I want to add is is that I normally have a a, a cloth, in this case a large uh, bath towel, uh, on top of my table. The table is a plastic resin table, and uh, that cloth will take a bit of the heat if I actually brush this 300 degree iron uh, down uh, on the table. So um, do protect your work surface um, and uh, make sure you don't start melting your table. Okay, one last tip is uh, you have to be very, very careful when you're um, checking over your parts. You see where the covering is uh, lapped over against the, the plywood and uh, so I use a trim iron uh, on high setting. I'll check it with the temperature gauge, make sure it's right. But uh, typically all you want to do is make sure that it's down good. And I see a little spot there that it's not. And uh, just a small little touch will fix that and make sure that that one's glued down. There's a little bit right here that's not glued down and just press and hold and it magically sticks. The, uh, the uh, overlaps on the um, elevator and um, horizontal stab were perfect. I didn't see anything to iron down, but uh, typically where you see the covering does lap over and uh, st stick to the plywood in this case, uh, you might find a couple of places you need to iron it down. So I've got the trim iron hot now and uh, that'll take care of that. Okay, on the fuselage on the covering, there are certain places that I pay particular attention to and that's where the covering wraps around here where the engine is because there's a lot of uh, potential fuel, uh, oil, and, and uh, the wind and so forth. You want to make sure that that, uh, where the covering wraps around, um, it's uh, well stuck down. So I'm going to use a trim iron here. It's raised up just a little bit. And I'll make sure that that stays down. So um, the other thing is, is in the cabin area, there's going to be a lot of uh, wear where you put the uh, wing here and here. You want to do the same with that. Make sure that's 
covering is wrapped around and stuck tight. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed this video.